Day Year 11, this is Miss Blundell. I'm going to be doing an observational drawing lesson with you today. Pieces of equipment that you're going to need for it, you need a piece of paper, so cartridge drawing paper, a rubber and a pencil. You'll also need to find an object to draw from and this depends on the project you're doing. So if you're doing a natural forms project, um, you could either draw a flower or you could find something like a leaf and um, it depends on your ability of drawing okay obviously your leaf is going to be simpler to draw than the flower because you've got all these individual petals and all the detail in the middle here okay and um, if you're doing a project on sweets or food you'd be better off going something like this like a can or you can have a look around in your kitchen and see if you've got any like sweet wrappers anything like that you could draw from that um, and if you're doing portraiture, you've got the choice of drawing from a photograph. So if you've got a photo on your phone, you could use. Or if you've got a photograph around the house, you could draw from that. Or you could draw from a mirror. Okay. So just prop the mirror up. Make sure um, it doesn't move. And you can keep looking back at yourself at the mirror for reference when you're drawing. Okay. So today I'm going to have a go at drawing the can. So we'll pop these out of the way. And I'm going to start off making sure that I've got it in clear view. Okay, so we'll have it there. So the first thing we're going to start with when we're drawing is the outline. And you need to take your time and make sure you get this right. Because if you don't get the outline right, it doesn't matter how much detail or tone you add. It's never going to look quite right. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the can. I'm going to start off with the top of it. Okay, you guys already know this, but just to remind you, draw nice and lightly with your pencil, because if you do make a mistake, you've got the freedom to rub it out and you won't have indented the paper. Whereas if you press hard on your pencil, it doesn't matter how much you rub it out, you've indented the paper and you'll still be able to see it. Okay, so now I'm going to, a bit bigger actually. Bring that down the sides. I'd say to about there. And you also want to make your drawing as 3D as possible, okay? The more 3D it is, the more realistic it's going to look. Right, once you've drawn the outline, just step back a bit, or just look back, and have a look what you've done so far, and uh, where you think you can make some changes if you need to. I think maybe we need to draw a line around the top here, which I've missed out. Okay. Brilliant, okay. Now, I've drawn the outline of the can, I want to start drawing the outline of all the detail on the front, okay? So, it's up to you where you start, wherever you feel comfortable. I'm just going to start by with these lines going across here. Okay, nice and light again, so if you do make a mistake, you've got the option do rub it out as I say because you will I make mistakes all the time when I'm drawing just have a look oh, I've drawn that bit wonky there so I'll just get my rubber and we'll leave them like that and then I want to look at this oval over the top Start drawing that in. Just like that. Reflect back. And then we 
I can have a go drawing this vibe in the middle. So I'm going to just start off by drawing this section without that gap missing and then I can add that in after. Just like that. There we go. Start with the V. Looking at the way the words go, the distance between the words and this top bit here. And you can just carry this on for the whole can. Okay, and that's what I've got so far. So you'll keep doing that for the whole can um, until you get to a point that looks like this. So once you've drawn all the detail on the can, okay, you're going to start um, adding tone. Now, just bear in mind, depending on what you're drawing, obviously a can's quite smooth, so there hasn't actually been any small detail for me to draw. Whereas if you were drawing this flower, before you start adding tone, you'd want to draw out all these bits in the middle here, you can see, okay? And this would take longer than if you were drawing the can. So it all depends on the objects you're drawing. Now, when you're adding tone, this is a big part in making your work look 3D. So you want to look where the light is hitting the can or the object that you're drawing, where the, the light is struggling to get to on the can. So if you look here, it's dark on the edges here, okay, because beside the can. So I'd add the dark tone there. Whereas here, this is where the light directly hits the can and that's the lightest part there. So you want to show that in your drawing through tone. So I'll just show you how I'd get started. So I'd just start very softly and build your colour up. Okay. And then as you go along, blend it together, but just slowly start lifting your pencil. And when I get to this point here, I'm just going to very lightly blend it into the light. Remember, for you to get a grade 5 and above drawing, you need to have at least 5 levels of tone in there, okay? So by that I mean, if you look here, I've drawn on the back, there's 6 levels of tone there. And just keep looking back at your can, okay? I'd say this part needs to come along darker. Keep going back onto the shape if you need to as you add detail. Okay. Coming down to the side. It goes lighter here, so we'll make sure that tone's lighter. Just keep building it up, taking your time. And when you're drawing, make sure your pencil strokes are going in the direction of the object. Give it more form, okay? So here, I was drawing with a curve. When I come to this edge here, I'm drawing in straight lines, okay? And that will help your work look more realistic. Here it's really light. So a little trick, you can get your rubber, if there's just little bits of highlight where it's pretty much completely white with the light, you can just rub sections out. Keep building it up. Get a bit darker here. 
here now. And you'll add this to the whole of your can to the point where you'll end up with something like this. Now, as you can see, I've got, um, when you look at the can, you've got these little specks of light, you know, with your reflection. If you're doing an object like a can, as I said, just use a rubber. And you can see where I've used a rubber to rub away sections and just give the illusion of reflection. Okay? Now, I only want you to do one of these drawings, uh, mainly because I want quality over quantity. This is going in your folder, okay? Um, if you're struggling to find an object that relates to your project, think about something that you did early on in the year or um, at the end of year 10, okay? At the start of your folder and um, draw something that you... So if you started with natural forms, you could draw um, a flower or a leaf and it can fit into that section of your folder. You'll still get graded for it. Um, it's still going towards your GCSE and drawing is 25% of your GCSE. So it's really important that you put all your effort into this, okay?